Africa is home to some of the most well-known, loved and feared animals in the world. There are so many wonderful to see, but where to start? Rhinos once roamed many places throughout Europe, Asia, and Africa, and were known to early Europeans, who depicted them in cave paintings at the beginning of the 20th century. 500,000 rhinos roamed Africa and Asia by 1970, rhino numbers dropped to 70,000, and today, around 27,000 rhinos remain in the wild. Very few rhinos survive outside national parks and reserves due to persistent poaching and habitat loss over many decades. Three species of rhino black, javan, and sumatran are critical endangered today. A small population of Javan rhinos is found in only one national park on the northern tip of the Indonesian island of Java. Mainland subspecies of the Javan rhino was declared extinct in Vietnam in 2011. Successful conservation efforts have led to an increase in the number of greater one-horned, or Indian, rhinos, from around 200 at the turn of the 20th century to around 3,700. Today the greater one-horned rhino is one of Asia's biggest success stories, with their status improving from endangered to vulnerable. Following significant population increases however, the species still remains under threat from poaching for its horn and from habitat loss and degradation in Africa. Southern white rhinos once thought to be extinct now thrive in protected sanctuaries and are classified as near-threatened, but the western black rhino and northern white rhinos have recently become extinct in the wild. The only two remaining northern white rhino are kept under 24-hour guard and all Pajeta Conservancy in Kenya. Black rhinos have doubled in number over the past two decades, from their low point of fewer than 2,500 individuals, but total numbers are still a fraction of the estimated 100,000 that existed in the early part of the 20th century. Rhinos share their habitat with a multitude of other plant and animal species. The protection of rhinos also helps protect the ecosystems on which they depend, as well as other species, including elephants, buffalo, large carnivores, and antelopes that share their habitat. Poaching, driven by consumer demand for rhino horns primarily in Asia, poses the biggest threat to rhinos most of these horns find their way into the illegal market in Vietnam, where law enforcement is weak and criminal networks grind up the horns to sell for use in traditional medicines or sell them whole as a high-value gift item China is an important consumer market as well, where rhino horns enter art and antique markets and are sometimes acquired as an investment purchase as the growing middle class in both China and Vietnam become more affluent and can afford the high cost of rhino horns. They are are driving up the demand on the international black market rhino poaching levels hit record highs in 2015, with poachers slaughtering at least 1,300 rhinos in Africa 691 rhinos were poached in South Africa in 2017, that number slightly decreased in 2018 with 508 rhinos poached although. International trade in rhino horns has been banned under the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Fauna and Flora CITES, a global agreement between governments to follow rules to monitor, regulate, or ban international trade in species under threat. Since 1977, demand has remained high and continues to fuel rhino poaching and both Africa and Asia criminal syndicates link rhino horn source countries like South Africa with a series of transit points and smuggling channels to get the product to its final destination in Asia the main markets are now in countries like Vietnam and China, where rhino horns has become a party drug, a health supplement, and a hangover cure in Vietnam, there is also a newly emerged belief that rhino horns cure cancer. As economic development, changes in grassland composition, logging, and agriculture degrade and destroy wildlife habitats, rhino populations are declining the remaining rhinos live in fragmented isolated areas and are prone to inbreeding, as healthy genetic mixing is more difficult among smaller groups also, having a large population confined to one protected area can lead to the allele effect, where breeding is depressed due to lack of resources and disease can spread rapidly through these highly concentrated populations the increase in human populations also puts more pressure on rhino habitats as well, shrinking the living space for rhinos and increasing the likelihood of contact with humans, often with fatal results. To protect black rhinos from poaching and habitat loss, the WWF is taking action in three key African rhino range countries, Namibia, South Africa, and Kenya together. These nations hold about 87% of the total black rhino population. WWF is working with government agencies and partners in these countries to support law enforcement agencies, build support for rhinos in surrounding communities, develop and build on innovative tech solutions, and equip and train rangers to stop poachers. We also support translocation efforts to establish new black rhino populations in these countries to ensure the species is healthy and growing. Only 67 javan rhinos are currently estimated to remain in the world, making this critically endangered rhino species one of the most threatened large mammal species on earth. They're confined to one park on the extreme southwestern tip of the Indonesian island of Java Ujung Kulin National Park. 
WWF is supporting rhino protection units in Yujing Kula National Park, Java, to safeguard the last remaining population of Javan rhinos from poaching and habitat loss. WWF is working to remove the invasive oranga palm tree, which has squeezed out the rhino's native food plants in 6,178 acres of former habitat within the park. Extraction of the palm within the park will be followed by active restoration of natural vegetation and food plants for rhinos. WWF also conducts research, including camera trap monitoring, which continues to reveal critical information about behavioral patterns, distribution, movement, population size, sex ratio, and genetic diversity. The Sumatran rhino is the most threatened of all rhino species, with fewer than 80 surviving in fragmented subpopulations across Indonesia on the islands of Sumatra and Borneo. While there are fewer Javan rhino individuals, the remaining Javan rhino all live in one site and are a healthy breeding population. The Sumatran rhino, on the other hand, all live in very small and highly fragmented populations on the islands of Sumatra and Kalimantan in Indonesia. These remaining animals are isolated in fragmented pockets of forests that prevent them from breeding. The small smallest rhinos on earth, Sumatran rhinos remain in small and isolated areas, limiting reproduction in the wild as a result, these populations have been weakening in support of the government of Indonesia's efforts, WWF, Global Wildlife Conservation, International Rhino Foundation, International Union for Conservation of Nature, and the National Geographic Society have joined together with Indonesian partners on the ground to launch a Sumatran rhino rescue effort beginning in 2018. This alliance of organizations aims to relocate the widely dispersed rhino populations from the wild to manage breeding facilities designed specifically for their care. In addition to securing the remaining rhino population, the effort will develop the infrastructure to care for the rhinos and grow their numbers with the long-term objective of releasing these animals back into the wild. The recovery of the greater one-horned rhino is among the greatest conservation success stories in Asia. Today, this rhino population stands at around 3,700 individuals, a significant increase from around 200 remaining at the turn of the 20th century. Strict protection and management action from Indian and Nepalese authorities and their partners are responsible for bringing the species back from the brink. However, the species's remarkable recovery is constrained by a lack of adequate habitat and the ongoing threat of poaching for their horns. Currently, 85% of all greater one-horned rhinos are concentrated in just two locations in India, and Nepal to ensure continued recovery of the greater one-horned rhino, WWF is supporting the establishment of new populations by translocating rhinos to protected areas with suitable habitat within the species's historic range. Translocating rhinos from the two main populations will allow both groups to expand into new territories and will also decrease densities in crowded parks, leading to increased breeding rates. We are setting up systematic monitoring programs to measure the health and status of resident and newly translocated rhinos, as well as supporting effective protection measures.